Hey folks, springtime is here. That means crappie season. Everybody loves to catch crappie. But for those inactive crappie, you sometimes just need to switch up that presentation. Let's take a look at a couple things that you can do to help increase your catch. Here I'm using a carrot float. This same, the same thing applies to a slip float. I already have this fixed at about a foot. But if I, even if I was using a slip float, you'd want to have your bobber stop down to whatever depth that you want it set at and move your split shot right up under and lock that bobber in so it's not going anywhere. You're locked in at whatever depth you want to be at. Okay? Now that allows a little slower presentation. Your bait's going to swing down a lot slower. The closer you bring that split shot to your bait, the faster your bait's going to fall. You want a nice, smooth, slow pendulum action. The second thing you can do to finesse these crappie would be downsize your bait. You always hear me say, downsize, downsize, downsize. It holds true. Here's one thing that I like using. is a little smaller bait when it comes to plastics. Let's take a look at these. These are M&K baits from Mike's Bait and Tackle and Mike Powell. These just happen to be a little smaller shad profile, okay? They even come in glow baits, great for murky water or nighttime fishing. This is a 1.75 compared to a 2 inch. That quarter inch is just enough to make a big difference when it comes to inactive fish. And these don't just catch crappie, and that applies to just about any other type of bait. They attract all kinds of fish. We was catching all kinds of fish, sawgai, perch, catfish, on different uh, plastic baits last weekend. But definitely downsize, downsize, downsize. These are killer baits. They'll get the inactive crappie every time. 